Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial I will talk about the how to build a CRUD API using AWS uh, Lambda and DynamoDB. In here we create serverless API that create read, updates and delete items from the Dynam DynamoDB table. This medium article link also given in this uh, description. Now we try to create this CRUD application only 15 minutes. In here you can, uh, if you want you can try these things uh, using AWS free tier account. In here I put this link and you can go to this link and you can create a uh, free account and you can try these all these things uh, freely using this uh, free tier uh, account. Okay now we move to the tutorial. First of all, you have to create a DynamoDB table. In here, create a DynamoDB table. Uh, if you can, if you want, you can use use this link to create DynamoDB table. I will search in these. There's the DynamoDB. Now I can go there. The DynamoDB dashboard in here. In here, click on the Create Table button. Now. I click create table button and in there is a uh, form that's a table name that we can use uh, this name for the table name this one and uh, we can use id for the partition key I use id uh, this is the optional sort key I didn't fill that in uh, Will these and we can select the create table of sun. Now I, now this is the this is the our DynamoDB table uh, HTTP CRUD tutorial items. Now we move to the second second step of that. Uh, this is create lambda function. Now you can same research here lambda I like that now there is lambda I click that and now go to the uh, is a lambda dashboard mm -hmm. first of all uh, click on the create function button click the create function button uh, you can give this name http tutorial function as the name of the this function you can use this and I use node 18 node js 18 version and these are the things and now I go to the under the permission section click the change default execution role in here I use choose the option create a new role for AWS policy template in this new role for AWS policy template in here I can use a role name for that I use this providing name for that then uh, from the policy template uh, policy template you can select this one simple microservice permission I go to the down and simple microservice and this here now I can choose create function now I created this function now our lambda function is now created uh, now move to the next step uh, open the console's code editor and I'll get the uh, I'll get this this file and replace it code in here I go to the Okay, this is the code. Uh, there is the index mjs file. There is a code. We can replace this code to that code. I copy this code and click here. Copy this code to this code console. And now I can hit the deploy button. Okay, 
now I the deploy button uh, now uh, now I successfully create our lambda function in here uh, then we can move to the next step of that okay now we move to the th third step of our scenario uh, in here we have to create a API gateway in recent visited the yeah, API gateway if you want you can search in that in that end you can search API gateway now I click here <coughs> in here you, you can uh, create API using uh, this one I click create API and I want to create HTTP API I click here to create it, that one mm, you can use API name I use that name for the API name okay next then Define stage now. I click next. Okay, Wait. now we move to the next step of uh, to create routes. For create routes, we go to the API gateway. And there is why and there is routes like that. In routes, uh, you can create routes using this one if you want click here okay. first one is get route get method i get method and i copy that one paste in here create okay you can see this you can build these uh, like that one after that yeah, after that you have to create uh, these me methods also this get, get method put method and delete method uh, I try to create this one second one is get method uh, and these items is here create to that next method is put method it's also open point is item create next method is delete method I also create that in here and then point is uh, this one create now we move to the next step of that create an integration to create an integration we have to uh, create integration integrations uh, using these methods for the integrations in here can see manage integrations mm. you can so you can search as lambda functions you can search lambda function you can um, draw your function and Okay, you can you can create lambda function for that. Now we move to the next step. Next step is attaching your integration to routes. Uh, now you can easily do that in here. Maximize the screen. In here you can choose the existing integration. Is the is the function also in this. Now I can click here, attach in rest. I can do this method also like that one. That in red. I do it very easily in here. Okay. I finish that stage. Uh, now we go to the next step. Now this is now we go to the lambda function well, lambda function this double lambda function in this uh, 
this is our lambda function you can see the function overview we connect this the api gate for that uh, now we can test our api how to test our api you can go to lambda function and now you can go to the configuration in here uh, you can copy this link and uh, you can i uh, use the postman for test uh, these things now Method items, but uh, there is no item in there. Now, now I try to add, add some items for that. So that uh, you want to put some items for that. I put some sample items for that and now I send it put item 200 ID 200 put this on and uh, this 100 and this 500 so and send it now put item 100 this also add to our DynamoDB table now this is um, after that you can read if you want to uh, read these things get you can use get method then send it in this get method you can see the uh, two items we added in previously price and that price and if you want to add another item my idea is 300 is 600 and it has a put method and I can put method using this thing object okay put items 300 now we can see that our added item in here in here this is this is the latest item uh, we had here now if you want delete some item if you can put here as uh, this ID, we have this ID. We want to get this name and this ID. In here, we have to use delete method then send it. Deleted item 300. Now you can see what is what are the in the database. In here, you can see only two inputs in there okay okay guys in this medium article i had uh, the uh, following steps and the code in here uh, if you have any doubts you can also connect with the aws uh, aws tutorial and documentations for that also mm. Thank you for watching this video.